Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Eddie Marcus here. Today we had our first hearing by the committee uh, set up to determine what really happened on January 6th. And as you said and you listened to the testimony of the people who were involved, of the Capitol Police and others, as I listened to these four police officers that uh, gave their testimony, when they were through, I was just as beaten, worn as they were. I mean, I had to feel every pain that they felt because I was drained. And there were no more tears left. I mean, it was something terrible. But I'm glad I had the tears to share. And I was just thinking about that, ladies and gentlemen. What really was represented in that uh uh, committee meeting today. I saw on the one hand, I saw some people representing democracy. They were representing the Constitution. They were representing the rule of law and certain things of this nature. Now, even though I sat there and I listened to them, talking about the democracy, democratic process. Now, we all know that America's democracy is as imperfect as we know it to be. And we don't have the same measure of imperfection for it. We, as it has applied to us, is how we measure it. And so we all got some uh, grievances. But what we saw actually was an expression trying to express democracy which basically means holding on to some semblance of decency some measure of humanity while on the other side it made it appear as though it was all about whatever works morals thrown out of the window. If the truth works, tell it. If a lie works, tell it. And if you tell a lie, stick to it. Unless the truth works, then you can switch and say you were telling the truth all the time. Man, it was absolutely pathetic. So I saw half of the nation arguing for democracy as imperfect as it is. And I saw the other half of the nation arguing for chaos, lies, hatred, whatever is ugly. All of the stuff that we have been taught in our lifetime that was ugly, this is what the rest of the nation, at least 70 million of them, were advocating for. This indecent, crazy attitude toward life. This is what they say they want. Well, crazy as it might be, it's still the will of the people. It's still what they want. And so we got this big situation going on in Congress now. And then what's the argument? The argument is this. What will America settle for? Will it settle for decency? <laughs> or will it settle for the devil? I'm just going to call it the devil. The devil. You see, you see when Miss Cheney and this other gentleman, they are saying we don't agree with Democrats on certain things, but there are certain things we do agree on, and that's a measure of decency. So what they're actually standing up for right now is decency. <laughs> decency. And all of those guys, those other guys and people, they're turning their back on decency. They say indecent. So when you hear McConnell, McCarthy, when you hear those guys speaking for decency one day and the next day speaking for indecency, that is a represent, representative statement of bull. That's a representative statement of lies. That's a representative statement of the devil. 
So, I just leave that with you. I thought I shared that. Thank you.